All right, for today's video, we're going to be taking another look at a uh, another one of these Eldrador creatures from the company Schleech, which, uh, again, if you're unfamiliar with uh, with Schleech, they, they usually do uh, kind of just like nice hand-painted, unposable figurines of, of various animals and wildlife. And the Eldrador creatures line is, uh, you know, they take that same concept but apply it to uh, fantasy creatures and stuff like that. And uh, this guy is one of the ones from the... Uh, from the stone category because they've got different like elemental groups and uh this is armored turtle with weapon yes very <laughs> very literal just like our battle crab with weapon that we looked at last time but yeah nice sculpted detail on here you can see all of the like you know uh, <laughs> all of the turtle scales and stuff like that i love what they did with the shell here where they have kind of this uh, dry brushed effect to really bring out a lot of the details in the rock and have these little uh clear plastic gems kind of sticking through uh, what kind of sucks a little bit is this one is like, doesn't seem to be seated in that hole properly. I'm not sure if that's like a, you know, a running problem with this mold or if that's just mine in particular, but you know, not too big a deal, just kind of worth mentioning. But yeah, I like his little uh, tongue sticking out of his mouth there, just very cute and expressive and the sort of like neon-y like acid stuff that's like running through his body. Very cool. Uh, you know, like I said, these po these figures are not super posable because, like, they kind of have, like, this whole sculpted uh, pose thing going on. But they do add some art points of articulation. This one has three points of articulation. Uh, both of his arms are just on swivels. So they can rotate up and down. And then the wrist on this, this hand can rotate as well. Um, like the, uh, the Battle Crab, he does come with a weapon. I have, like, this little, uh, you know double spiky mace club weapon i think that's really cool it comes packaged with him holding it in this hand which you can do he can hold it in either hand but like this is the one with the wrist articulation so it just makes more sense for, to me for him to be holding it there because it, it you know gives more uh character to the to the poses that you can put him in by you know uh just rotating this weapon in different ways and you know pretty cool um, but yeah, you know, he's a, a pretty standard figure. Uh, here he is with, just for size comparison, here he is with a pop vinyl, a deluxe transformer, and a six inch action figure, Skeletor specifically. And then here he is with uh, with the battle crab with weapon that we looked at last time. So you can see, you know, they're, they're a fun little duo. Obviously they're from the two different elemental groups or whatever. And these guys are really, you know, meant to sit a little bit better with their own groups like all of the uh you know water guys kind of look good together all the stone guys kind of look good together but you know they're just like kind of neat fantasy creatures and i think they still look pretty good together as well but yeah there's you know not really a ton to say about them aside from just like looking at all the detail and stuff like that like i could describe to you what you're seeing but you know you have eyes <laughs> you can see like all the different paintwork and stuff like that and the nice sculpting like it's all very textured and nice and it's just like a it's a nice realistic take on a fantasy creature type thing. And like I said last time, I, I enjoy these these sort of uh, toy lines that are kind of unaffiliated with any media. It just has kind of like a pure toy feel to it. And this guy is uh, definitely no exception. But yeah, so not really a bunch else to say about him. Just a, a nice little, you know, turtle henchman guy, kaiju sort of thing. You know, I like that too, is that you can imagine these guys are gigantic or like, you know, the size of an actual turtle or anything like that. But I, you know... I, I kind of imagine them as like big hulking kaiju-esque monsters that uh, would look pretty good with uh, with Godzilla and stuff like that. Ooh, I could get Godzilla. Wait, hold on. Here he is with a uh, with a NECA Godzilla toy, and then here is the battle crab with that too. Just because I didn't show that off last time, but yeah, you know, obviously they're they're not quite on the uh, the height level of these guys, but I think they still would look cool together, kind of stomping around with those as kind of like you know, proto lesser kaiju or something like that. But yeah, you know, is that again, not a lot to say about it af uh, after that. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. I do reviews every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, here we have Schleech Eldrador Creatures Armored Turtle with Weapon. 